here in Paris by accident, really. Um, I was um, previously in Germany, and then even before that, I was in Slovenia. So I've been sort of seven days on the road by now, or eight days on the road. And I was recording a, a fourth solo album in Slovenia at, at the recording studio I worked for. And then I was in, in Germany also recording. And then I was just supposed to be connecting through Paris. But thanks to KLM, um, I have an extra night in, 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 in France, in Paris, because my flight was cancelled. So if, you're, you know, if your flight's cancelled and you're in Paris, who do you call Paris Guitar Foundation? So Augustine and I have been making this uh, gorgeous little movie, this little Eric Satie piece um, here in this amazing garden. As I teach um, guitar at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland in Glasgow. I teach both in the Junior Conservatoire and the Senior Conservatoire. But it's, it's very interesting being a teacher, as well as a performer, to come to somewhere like France, to Paris, even just briefly in this small visit. Because Paris is becoming, and Fran French guitarists are becoming known all over the world for being extremely successful in competitions. And also you have here, I think, some of the most successful guitarists. I mean, Roland Dienz, for example, is a name synonymous with, with guitar. Not just classical guitar, jazz music as well. And then younger players like Gabriel Bianco. Both of these players, you know, I've invited personally to come to Scotland to play, uh, to give concerts, to teach. And it's amazing what's happening in Paris. There's so many other players as well, Judica Parois and all these other great artists. I don't want to miss anybody out, so I won't list them all, but some great friends, great artists. It's interesting what happens there because people come to Paris to study the guitar, right? They come here um, because there's this great atmosphere, there's much success. But the interesting thing is, for me, as a teacher, thinking more about developing the individual, you know? Uh, regardless of where they come from or where they gravitate towards to study. You know, if somebody comes to Paris to study, they may not have the career that, say, a Roland Dienz has or, say, a Gabriel. Bianco has now that's the same in Scotland you know they, they might not have a, a huge career they might go into teaching they might have a portfolio of many things that they do but it's fascinating to see this huge movement here in Paris and I wonder like you know for every one person that makes it is there 30 or 40 that are not so successful I don't know what the ratio is um, but sometimes you see artists painters they gravitate towards a place or a location to paint or a movement in people and I think this is, is very important for establishing a culture that's really strong with our instrument, with the guitar. But students have to remember that at the end of the day, just being associated isn't enough. You have to develop your individuality yourself. such a hard question what makes an artist I think for me maybe making sure you don't ever really overly contemplate that idea because y you can't be an artist you know and you can't think oh now I'm an artist or you know um, you have to find out what you're good at you have to find out what you can express the best and the most coherently to the public and then if they like that and they go with that and they follow you for these kind of things then maybe other people might comment on you as having an artistic kind of career or an artistic life but if you're sitting around thinking you know i am the artist then this is this is a joke this is thinking about things the other way it takes i would imagine years decades upon decades to really achieve that we'd hear in paris someone like roland diaz would, would for me i would say he's an artist um you know I think he's he's earned the right, you know, with the things that he's done and the things he's achieved. So I would look up to someone like that as, as an artist. Aviento. 